Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the icon down there in the right hand corner. Subscribe to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the hard way. Well, let me phrase that. I'm going to show you the easy way, but the common problem that happens on your Dodge uh, trucks and SUVs. Or the slug that goes onto the shock, on the back of the shock assembly, where it breaks out. Um, like I said, if you look on, the, on my channel, you'll see the other video. You can either weld it or drill a hole in the back side. And I'll show you how to do that in the other video. But in this video, I'm going to show you the worst case scenario of how to do it. And that's with cutting it out with a torch. First off, make sure you have plenty of water. Just in case, safety first and a fire extinguisher. Uh, sitting right over there. Um, so, let me get this set up. We'll get the torch fired up. We'll get that cut out. Also, make sure you have some type of eye protection, whether that's uh, a welding shield, a face shield, or some, some uh, tinted sunglasses, or some tinted safety sunglasses, because the, the heat and, and the, the light from a torch uh, can distort your vision and, and ultimately affect your vision. So make sure you, you know, safety first. If you need a pair of welding gloves, make sure you use some welding gloves. Um, or have them on standby just in case you need them to grab a hold of something and put something out or, you know, like I said, worst case scenario for safety. All right, let me get y'all mounted here on the tripod and we'll get this started. All right, guys. Once you get your torch lit, you can get down in there. <clears throat> You can cut it right out. All I'm doing here is heating it up. One second, I'll get y'all repositioned. get that good and cherry hot before you go cutting it off. I'm sure if y'all can see that in there or not. Hopefully so. I'm just cutting through this nice and slow because I'm going to be able to pull that bolt out. So I'm basically just melting this nut away. Thank you. 
just so I can see what I'm doing here. Sorry about that, I might be in your old way here. Then you get up in there from behind and you hit it with a punch. Or We need a uh, pair of pliers pulled up out of there. Actually, might be able to get it by hand. There. If we have to, I guess we'll do it that way. Didn't want to, but now, yeah, guys, we're gonna feed it up through the shock tire. There you go guys, and that's how you do it. It's not that difficult. It only takes a matter of minutes as y'all seen. Cut that bolt right out. Get your new bolt, put your shock in, and be done with it. If y'all find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and entertaining. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Leave some comments down below. I have plenty of vehicles, I have a shop, friends, uh, I have any vehicles you need, uh, whether it's services or things done on, I'll gladly do a video for you all, no matter what the vehicle. From a Porsche, to a Honda, to a Chevy Pinto. Please, hit that thumbs up, you'll have a great day.